A portion of California's coastline collapses into the sea. Extreme landslides put the California coast in a state of emergency. In early 2026, the world witnessed a shocking moment when a portion of California literally collapsed and fell into the sea. Drone footage and surveillance cameras showed the sudden collapse of coastal cliffs, taking with them decades of geological history and threatening the state's vital infrastructure. In the area bordering Pacifica and Daly City, it wasn't just a slow landslide, but a massive structural failure, releasing thousands of tons of rock and soil in mere seconds. This was not an isolated incident, but rather a symptom of a much larger geological crisis. Experts from the U.S. Geological Survey, the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, confirm that California's coastline is now in a critically endangered state. The state faces a lethal combination, soil saturation from extreme rainfall from successive atmospheric river cycles, sea level rise exceeding previous projections, and the reactivation of ancient landslides once thought stable. Data shows that erosion and landslides are now occurring much faster than scientists predicted. The Rancho Palos Verdes region is the most alarming example. From late 2025 to January 2026, landslides in the Portuguese Bend landslide complex increased 80 to 88 times the historical average. Land that previously moved a few inches per year was now shifting at a rate of up to 13 inches per week. Recent research has identified a slip plane approximately 350 feet below the surface that is moving faster than the upper layers, turning the entire hillside into a giant conveyor belt sliding toward the sea. The primary cause of this phenomenon is a combination of water and chemistry. Rainwater seeped deep into the soil and reached the Altimera shale layer of the Monterey Formation, which contains bentonite clay. This clay is thixotropic, hard when dry but extremely slippery when wet, like an industrial lubricant. Combined with the dip slope of the rock layers, gravity pulled the entire landmass downward without significant resistance. The impact on modern life is palpable. Utilities like gas and electricity were forced to be cut off because pipes and cables were severed by the ground movement, creating the risk of explosions and fires. Highway 1 in Big Sur suffered extensive damage from major landslides such as Regent Slide, Pool Slide, and Danny Creek. Repairs required the excavation of hundreds of thousands of cubic meters of material using specialized equipment such as spider excavators at a cost and high risk. The San Clemente Coastal Railroad, part of the second busiest rail corridor in the United States, is also under threat. The fragile cliffs continue to erode due to ocean waves, forcing the government to consider a project to relocate the rail line inland at a cost of over $4 billion. The concept of managed retreat is no longer a mere concept, but an urgent need. Urbanization has exacerbated the situation. Asphalt, concrete, and drainage systems alter the natural flow patterns of water, while irrigation of luxury home gardens indirectly lubricates landslide surfaces. Coupled with the reduction of sand supplies due to river dams, coastal cliffs are losing their natural protection from wave action.
For coastal residents, warning signs to watch for include new cracks and foundations, jammed doors and windows, leaning trees or poles, unusual water seepage, cracking sounds from the ground or buildings, and the formation of natural steps in yards. All of these indicate the land is shifting. This geological crisis has also triggered an economic crisis. Many insurance companies have suspended coverage in high-risk zones, forcing homeowners to rely on state insurance with high costs and limited coverage. Property values in some coastal areas have plummeted, with some even being deemed uninhabitable. California is now entering a new era of coastal management. Advanced technologies like LiDAR, INSAR, GPS, and acoustic sensors are being used to precisely monitor land movement. Despite efforts such as groundwater drainage, experts agree the battle against nature on California's coastline is increasingly difficult to win, and strategic retreat may be the only way forward.